As women fight for abortion rights, Amazon says they'll help their employees access the health care they want. The company announced on Monday that it will pay for abortions for employees who need them. They'll give up to $4,000 a year to workers who need to travel to other states to seek medical care. Other companies like Apple, Citigroup, Levi's and Yelp have made similar promises to employees. Wow, that's a big deal. Yeah, companies like Apple, Citigroup, and even Amazon are promising to help their employees travel to other states if they need to get abortions, which is amazing. That's really amazing. Usually, you only see that kind of offer when a member of Congress gets his mistress pregnant. Really powerful. <laughs> and considering the political climate right now, any company wading into controversial culture war issues, like, they could face serious backlash. I mean, pro-lifers could start a boycott against Amazon that could last minutes <laughs> before they get tempted by a deal on a knockoff Roomba. <laughs> and you know, to be honest, I'm actually surprised that Amazon is doing this. Yeah, because it's wild. They'll let employees go to a blue state before they'll let them use the bathroom. I mean, that's pretty wild. <laughs> but, but they deserve the praise. In fact, I propose a toast. Let's all raise a Gatorade bottle of pee in Amazon's honor. <laughs> here, here. Mm. Ah, I thought it was piss, it's Gatorade. Wow. <laughs> you guys mixed it the wrong way. So, those are the latest updates on the fallout of the Roe v. Wade leak from the Supreme Court. And while we don't know where this will end, we do know it's definitely reignited a conversation about how society treats women's reproductive rights. Because, you know, what I find interesting is if you go online, or if you watch conservative, conservative news, right? You're, by, you're bound to find, like, tons of people saying that the reason they're against abortion, the reason, is because they don't want to interfere with what God has decided. If you got pregnant, it's because God wanted you to be pregnant. And if you can't have kids, that's God's plan, too, which I understand as an argument. I really do. However, I find it interesting that these same people never use that argument when it comes to men. Yeah, because if you watch... <laughs> if you watch Fox News... Or any of these channels, they've got ads for erectile dysfunction pills, right? <laughs> yeah, how come they never say, oh, you can't get it up? Well, that's God's will. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Your penis doesn't work anymore? That's what the Lord wanted. <laughs> they never say that. They never say, medicine is always encouraged to do whatever it can to augment men's sexual health, however it can. And if you, are, if you wanna see, if you want to see just how far medicine is willing to go for men, look no further than this story from the UK, where doctors helped a man grow a penis on his arm. A British man who lost his penis through an infection has finally had a new one surgically attached after six years of growing it on his arm. Doctors even designed a hand pump that can inflate the penis and produce an erection. 47-year-old Malcolm McDonald is the subject of a new documentary called The Man with a Penis on His Arm. According to the Daily Mail, viewers were stunned watching the program last night, in which Malcolm described the penis falling out of his sleeve while shopping and even hitting his loved ones in the face while he hugged them. Yeah. This man lost his penis, and instead of accepting it, doctors figured out a way to grow him a new one on his arm. <laughs> and as hard as it was for him to live like this, I'm glad that medicine has come so far <laughs> that we're basically doing something that's from the future. Meanwhile, we want women to live back in 1849, huh? And, and by the way, can I also just say how much I appreciate the title of that documentary, The Man <laughs> with a Penis on His Arm? No, it's simple, it's clear, it's direct. <laughs> Yeah, if I see that scrolling on Netflix, I know exactly what I'm getting. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. <laughs> Unlike Tiger King. I thought it was the sequel to Lion King starring tigers. It turns out the real star was meth. 